Hi guys, welcome to machiningtutorials.com. My name is Nick and welcome to your very first wire EDM tutorial. We have a Mitsubishi FX10 as you can see and it works very well. What I'm going to be doing in this lesson is I'm going to be going over what a wire EDM can do, what it's used for, and just kind of breaking off apart this machine just a little bit. So I'm not going to be going into full detail of maintenance and programming and setting up but just the basic knowledge of what it's for. So first things first, I'm gonna show you a part that a wire EDM can do. And the next thing I'm gonna do is talk about it. So what a wire EDM can do, is let me open these doors, is it uses a small brass wire. You can buy it in different gauges, we have a 10 thou wire, but it uses this spool of wire and it goes through a series of pulleys, which straightens the wire because in that spool it just gets curled up for so long that it doesn't have a natural state of flatness. So these pulleys straighten it out and this wire goes down through this head and it goes into a diamond guide, which guides the wire down to the other diamond guide, which is used with flush cups. The flush cups Here's the diamond guide, here's the flush cup. What the flush cup is used for is to guide the water that threads the wire into the bottom head. Some wire EDMs you hand thread it, but on our specific wire EDM, it automatically threads using water. Now, after it threads, it goes into the back through a chopper and just chops up the wire into a trash can. So, you hang your part off of this table, which the table is right here and you lift this gate up and it fills with deionized water and how it becomes deionized is it uses filters in the back water runs through the filters into the tank and from the tank in the back it fills up this tank now with deionized water which is like a pure water that does not let electricity flow through the water so you can actually stick your hand in the water while it's running i wouldn't recommend touching the head but you can put your hand in the water because it's so pure that you hang your workpiece off of the table and as long as it doesn't hit your flush cups or your head it will wire it so it can be still anything that conducts electricity it can cut so you can actually cut eight inch thick steel one shape on the top one shape on the bottom with a wire EDM and it is my favorite machine of the entire machine shop because it is very very accurate you can have great finishes and it's just a beautiful machine in general it takes it takes a lot longer to mill or to wire something than to mill it it's a very slow process but this machine you can leave running all night and I usually get it set up and by the end of the day I hit go I can go home and you can actually have a system in here where if the wire breaks four times, the machine will shut off and it will not try to keep re-threading. But it has an automatic wire thread that uses an M code in your programming to go back to whichever position you want and thread the wire. Now, that is this area. Now, this area is your control panel. And what it's used for is for moving your machine heads, moving it up and down, basically for your setup. Your programming is going to be done on a separate computer with a surf cam, a spree, or a different type of software, which we will be teaching you guys in later lessons. And you can also set your G54. You can um, manually thread your wire. You, you, you can fill the tank. You can drain the tank. And I'll go over all these buttons in a separate video just about the control panel. So in series of events, you're going to get your part, keep everything clean, mount it to the work table, indicate it in just like any other machine, program it, and load that in the machine and run it. And this thing is gonna run all night and as long as you know what you're doing, it will be an amazing machine to make profit on, keep everybody happy, and be very accurate. Now, in other lessons, we'll be going over how to maintenance the machine, which is very, very, very important. It's not just like maintaining a manual mill. This thing needs to be clean, otherwise you will never get a thread into that tiny diamond guide. And those diamond guides are about a couple hundred dollars. So we'll go over how to maintenance it and keep everything nice and clean and just clean, okay? And we will go over 
how to set up, how to indicate things on the work table. And other than that, I look forward to teaching you guys in those lessons. And thank you very much.